Hello, everybody out there in YouTube. We are the Middle Aged Guys, and we're going to be bullshitting about, well, the state of virtual reality as it is in games today. I am the Reverend. The theme here. Gray Mouse One. The research group Superdata uh, actually went ahead and they published an, uh, a long, uh, a huge report and analysis. Uh, Black Friday is coming on. Uh, the largest shopping season of the year has started and one of the biggest shopping days of the of the year is uh, come and gone and um, after Black Friday came and went um, you know people saw naturally a huge increase in sales numbers of a lot of game consoles a lot of games and everything else uh, super data themselves though while they had noticed those trends for gaming as a whole they had very very grim news about the outlook for virtual reality in fact so much so that they've gone out of the way to say that um that virtual reality as a whole is this holiday season's biggest loser all right um in their <laughs> words thanks to notably fewer units sold than expected due to re relatively fragmented title lineup and modest marketing uh marketing effort um vr headsets are now expected to sell even fewer than they previously thought their Initial uh, forecast for 2016 for the PlayStation VR, um, they were expecting that they, they estimated out that PS4 VR was going to go ahead and sell 2.5 million units by the end of the, this year. Their forecast by the end of this year has now been revised to 750,000 units, which is less than, actually, which is around a third, okay, which is, <laughs> to, to be completely honest, all right? Um, and it's not just a PS uh, VR. Uh, Google Daydream, uh, which was initially expected to sell around 450,000 units, um, has actually only sold around 260,000 units, so a little less than uh, half. That and many? Then, what's up? I'd say they sold that many. Yeah, yeah. And then the estimates that they had for HTC Vive, Oculus Rift, and Gear VR – those particular numbers for the HCC uh, Vive, they said that they expected them to sell around 450,000. That remains unchanged. For the Rift, around 355,000. That remains unchanged. And the biggest winner, I guess, if you're looking just in, in VR sales number, is actually Gear VR, which uh, has sold probably over 2.3 million units, respectively. In fact, um, across the board, they say that over 90% of all the VR units are attached to mobile devices. So it's stuff like Gear VR or Google Cardboard or things like that. You know, the stuff with folks with their, you know, brand new Samsung 6s or 7s or whatever they, they have. Um, this probably isn't, <laughs> this, I don't want to sit there and say, say we told you so or, or to gloat about it, but, um, Considering that we've been living in a world where everybody's been expecting VR ever since like 1992, um, this doesn't exactly uh, surprise us. Um, before I, I go ahead and I, I start really gloating about it, I'm going to open up the floor. Give me your thoughts, guys, on this particular news. I'll go ahead and say it. We told you so. Look, I wasn't a fan of VR to begin with. I, I just wasn't. Even though I, I told people if they're excited about it, fine. If they're going to get it, fine. Get it, enjoy it, embrace it, whatever. If you are going to be a fan of VR and you're going to get that shit for any platform, and if you enjoy it, that's fine. But I am not surprised. I am not surprised at all as far as, well, now wait a minute, how could they say that they expected their VR sales to be like half of the fucking, like for Sony's instance, wasn't that like almost or nearly half of the PS4 owners out there? No, no, or, no, they, they were expecting, they were expecting to sell 2.5 million units by the end of, of this year. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Yeah. Not, yeah. not, not 20 million units. Oh, okay. That would be half the, half okay. the, the, the installation base. So you see, here's the thing about that too. You have to, okay, you got to get a fucking PS4 Pro in order to have it efficiently. And then, no, dude. <laughs> I mean, look, 
it's not like I can't have that. I just don't know. It just doesn't suit my needs as far as gaming or gaming experience. Yes, I've gone to game stores and I've seen PlayStation VR stuff, you know, games and stuff like that. But I just don't see people talking or even like, oh my God, PlayStation VR. I haven't seen any of that. Yep. Yeah. I, I just haven't, so I I don't know. <laughs> they expected all these sales, and then, yeah, uh, uh-uh, no. Yep. I mean, come come on, be completely honest. Are there any VR games from any platform that you were totally excited about that you just were like, okay, yeah, I want to try that, or I have to have it? There isn't, you know, the funny thing is, is that I think the killer app for VR right now is the Resident Evil 7 uh, kitchen demo. That's just a demo, really. Um, But aside from that, there really isn't uh, a killer app for it. What, not the Arkham VR? Not? No. Yeah, there's a Batman freaking... Yeah, Yeah, no, that that, that is definitely not the killer app for it. Um, Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Gray Mouse? What are your thoughts on, on this particular news? Yeah, I'll, I'll kind of echo with what the theme said. Um, we've already mentioned this before. Uh, I just don't think that technology is there yet to have a full functioning virtual reality. Virtual reality. I mean, to where, you know, you see in the movies and whatnot type of that virtual reality, like Avatar, you know, those type of that type of virtual reality. We just we just don't have the technology now to do that, and um, like I've been to these I've been to several stores like Target and Walmart on these other retails, and yeah I see the I see the uh, the PlayStation Four you know uh, virtual reality games sitting on the shelves with stacks and stacks of games behind it. You know, nobody want nobody's picking them up, and I think one thing too is uh, your price range. I mean because you know, it's just, it's too pricey for the normal consumer. It's almost, what, like a, like a full console, buying a full console just to get the VR? And nobody's ready to fuck. Again, to your point, you have to have the fucking updated console. Like the, P, the, the PS, like in PlayStation's instance. Well, to add on to that, uh, it will work with your PlayStation 4, but it won't work efficiently. And even with the PlayStation Pro, people are saying it's the, the Pro still doesn't get enough uh, computing power to, to do what you know to do VR efficiently. But um, then, going back to what you just said, as far as the technology, it's not yeah, and it's too fucking expensive. You know the the funny thing about that is that uh, gamers are a pretty flippant bunch, and we're. Uh, given the given a good reason, we are very ready to separate with our hard and earned cash. Okay, um, one I, of the, I can go past. I can go past that as far as a gamer. One of the things that that I want to go ahead and point out, especially when it comes to the the super data research that was that was come up, um, the uh, Stephanie Yamas, the director of research and uh, uh, at Super Data, when she was asked about it, um, she explained that you know. Sony failed monumentally in marketing VR. One of the things that they, that they had was that, um, in her words, PSVR had the best opportunity to benefit from the holidays, but their supply inconsistencies and lack of marketing have put them behind their potential. They did not offer any first-party deals this weekend, restock bundles or market the device, pushing instead for the PS4 Pro. They also pointed out that VR looks even better on a Pro than a standard or slim PS4, so the message to most gamers turned out to be get the pro now, then the PSVR later. As a result, you won't see them to break the one million shipments until into the new year. So as well, you know, as far as what was loaded into the pipe and everything, um, if there was one or the other, all right, uh, let's, let's just be completely honest. Okay. Uh, PS4 VR is not going to sell as much as they wanted for this Christmas season. Guess what else isn't going to sell as much as they want for this Christmas season? The PS4 fucking Pro. That's not going to sell as much as they want for this reason. 
that was one yeah. thing I wanted to, to, to talk, you know, to add on to what you were saying is that the PlayStation Pro has underperformed in just about every, every which way possible. You know, we have people, you could go on the, you could go on the uh, YouTube and check people where they're comparing the PlayStation uh, Pro versus PlayStation 4. And yeah, there is a little upscale with the graphics and everything, but the PlayStation 4 Pro was not designed with- Or to pass uh, games. With virtual reality as much, you know, I hate to say this, I, you know, Scorpio, the Xbox One's answer to this PlayStation 4 is built for, is a virtual reality, um, uh, it's supposed to be a virtual reality machine. And that's why it's going to cost like, uh, uh, you know, another systems times two. To, to, it's going to be about $800 just the way, the way it is. He already said it. But anyway, I regress. But um, with PlayStation Pro, yeah, it's, it's, it's performing. It, it's, it's, below standard. Some people are even say, just get a slim. It, it really is no big difference between a pro and a slim. I, I might have heard that. All right. But, um. so, I mean, it, it's, I, I don't know. I, I guess, I, you know, like you said, the PlayStation um, VR, Sony failed that whole thing. You know, with their marketing, like you said. No, here, wait, 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 wait. But here's the thing, too. It's not like gamers didn't know that that was coming out. Especially, okay, like the marketing thing. What the fuck were they going to market with? It, especially, as the Reverend said, there's not a killer app for it. Mm -hmm. The other problem that they have with the games that are out there, and the thing is, is that this has been the, the biggest, one of the biggest technical critiques of, of PS4 VR is that, um, you know, the thing with the VR is that it takes a, a moment for users to go ahead and acclimate themselves to the VR experience and everything. Mm -hmm. um, PS4 VR, as far as the games that are built around or being offered for the PS4 VR, are they're, they pretty much just kind of shove the player into it, all right? And one of the things that Stephanie Yamas, the, the uh, director of Insight over there at, uh, at Superdata, uh, said was that you know the the way that the games are now is that they're they're everything that they're offering is teaching anybody who's even interested in VR is that if you're interested in VR on the PS4 you are going to be in you have to be interested in getting sick within 45 minutes within 15 minutes of of playing this thing. Oh, is that is that is that a fact? Is That's that what's a, going? No. The, er, Almost all of the the biggest complaints of like majority of the of the VR titles out there is that look, it you know there is nothing nothing eases you into the experience of getting into the virtual reality space. You're there, all right, and then it just jumps jumps and shoots you down the fucking chute where it's like you don't have a choice. You're gonna get fucking sick. No, no, wait. When you usually talk about a gaming console or anything like that, especially if it's going to be, you know, quote unquote popular, when you go to most gaming stores, you, okay, like GameStop, for example, or even Target back in the day or something like that, you will actually see or you can actually sample the fucking console and one or two games that are on there. No one is, besides going to E3 or things like that, you can't really sample VR. So as far as jumping into it and just paying that lot of money without even sampling it first or without even, you know, testing it out or saying that, hey, yeah, I can get into this shit. Most gamers are not just going to jump into that. Especially if, especially if every game that you buy is not going to be compatible with it. As far as giving you a a VR experience. I I don't see that. I like if you were to play, I don't know, like Street Fighter Five. That's not going to give you a VR experience. It's just going to have everything right in front of you, but it won't give you a VR experience. You might as well get closer to your TV at that point. Yeah, I mean, it's just that you can't even sample it. And you can't sample it out. If I were to sample this thing and I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, maybe I can get into this for about 30 minutes a day, 
as the Reverend was saying, longer than 45 minutes, you're going to get sick. Fuck that type of advertisement. Okay, it's a, big improve, it's a big improvement from redness 20 years ago, but no. That's what I was saying. I, I don't want to get sick playing games. It's just, no. I, it's just, <laughs> well, we can get sick of games and yeah, you know, not, not, get us in games out the window when no. we get frustrated, but we don't want to get sick playing them. But what? Am I, to have, am I supposed to have a bucket beside me? <laughs> throw up every 45 minutes? I, I mean. <laughs> you just have to be glad that it's not like a welding visor. I, I know. I, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, what there's one, but see, there's one genre that would benefit 100% fully for a 3D. Well, there's a couple flight simulators and like horror survival. Those, Doom. I think, those games are made for VR. Wait, Doom could be. It's it's rather rough as far yeah. as if you if you want a Doom experience in VR and you want to be able to play that for an extended period of time, you're going to have to slow that experience down by a lot. A so, lot. So, I mean, flight simulators, space simulators. Racers. Maybe racers. Yeah. Maybe racers. Yeah. There's only certain genres that will fit. Because if those. you're doing a flight simulator, you can't be going too slow on those. No. But like, uh, like the, you know, horror, survival horror, that genre would, that, that is what you would want virtual reality what, for Silent right? Hill? Huh? Exactly. Mm. And, but Resident Evil 7. Mm. But like what I was saying, you know, I mean, I, I just feel, I'm just, for me, you know, for all those people out there that may like VR. Yeah, and that's, wait, like, and, wait, and that's another thing too. They expected to, for this to be a family novelty thing as well. To have motherfuckers in one room with three or four or five VRs in there playing some games. Fuck that. Four or five buckets to throw up in every 45 minutes. <laughs> no, but my they, they wanted you they wanted it to be even a multiplayer experience within the within the home. And I'm like, fuck that shit. Mm -hmm. Not no, not for, for especially for the mediocre games that they have, I'm not gonna spend three grand for that no fuck that <laughs> i'm talking about for a lot of vr things yeah i don't i don't know of any active multiplayer games for vr right now Not that, and i was just about to bring that point up what was besides what rigs for the play, playstation 4 no, there's there's a lot of titles. There's it, there is, but how, but see, and the there's, point, just, there's a lot of titles, but no one knows what the fuck they are. No one really has heard of them. No one's really excited for them. No one is like, oh my god, we everyone has to get this shit. Yeah, but that already goes over a point that we already covered. Like yeah, that, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I as far as this goes right now, I I'd have to say that uh, you know with VR, the technology. Is, is interesting and I, I I have to to go ahead and actually I'll, I'll tip my hat to Sony to actually being willing to go ahead and jump in to um, explore different ways to experience games all right but what if, but what if like like I say okay what if I have to years my point. okay look um, but you know that doesn't mean that uh, as far as it goes that doesn't mean that this is something that they're they've hit out the park um, I don't know if the industry is even even 20 years or 20 plus years after the the virtual boy and like said you know 22 years later than uh than lawnmower man or 25 years later than lawnmower man uh, i don't think the industry is quite ready for for that particular uh, experience because as far as technology has come it's not going to create the technology from what people think that vr is going to give them it's not going to give them the fucking holodeck on, on fucking that's the point. Exactly. That was the point yeah. I was going to make. It's not the fucking holodeck. Yeah. On, on the Enterprise. Sorry. And, happened. and that's probably, we're probably going to take another 25 fucking years before we even get anywhere close to that. Nope. It, it, I, I give it two more centuries. Yeah. You know, um, yeah, it's just, it, it's, it's one of those things where it's, where I, I, I can applaud, I can applaud their efforts, but you know what? Uh, the only people that, the only people that that Sony or anybody else who's thrown their their hat into VR, 
has to go ahead and, and, and blame for any, you know, the abysmal state of VR sales is the folks who have been pushing VR from the very fucking beginning. What about the Xbox Scorpio? Do you think that this is going to be in the same boat? Yep. Or do you actually think that this is going to do better than the PlayStation VR, considering the fact that the PlayStation VR, by the time Scorpio comes out, PlayStation VR is at least going to have a library of games and it's going to be cheaper. The Scorpio is going to come out expensive and the library of games are going to be... Well, here's, here's the thing. As far as it goes, I, I think what, what we have to consider here... And the one the one question that a lot of uh, a lot of the game media hasn't asked is that what sort of influence on the actual gameplay experience is this going to offer that people can't can't get anywhere else? All right, is this going to really transform the experience for gamers that they are they're going to be willing to shell out you know four hundred five hundred six hundred eight hundred dollars for for a, for a whole setup? All right, for a, for a basic uh, so for a connect to go on my face, no. Mm, that's how much it costs for for Vive. It's like eight hundred bucks for a Vive. All right, but and then we have everything else. But we covered that in another in a, in a previously made video. The the thing that um the thing that uh I am more concerned of is whether or not uh developers are able to actually sit there and jump into this space properly to be able to give gamers a, a good enough experience. Well give them an actual game experience that's going to mean more than just being able to fucking paint shapes in fucking 3D or to be a fancy fancy tech demo. Okay, then you better make a steel battalion with VR and have tank parts everywhere. Um, that's That would be a start, but that, if it... That's what I mean, yeah, but I don't think that's going to happen. That 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 would be a start, and that's one possibility. There's a there's a whole bunch of other things that they can do, um, but the if it's all executed under the same parameters and with the same care and forethought that they've they have for the offerings that they've given us right now, then it's yeah, you know, I I really don't know what 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 people are going to be looking for and whether or not they're actually going to be giving gamers a reason to go out of their way and spend that extra cash. No, I'm just being honest about that. Hmm. Even even the novelty of the PlayStation VR, you can actually watch your movies like that. It's... I mean, cinema mode is nice, I guess, if you don't want to sit there and turn on the TV and have uh, and bug somebody else, or if they want to go ahead and use it. But you know, what's the point at that at that at that point? You know, was there anything else that we we wanted to say about this particular one, folks? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I got something to say, just real quick. Um, this is not a bash on VR, and it's not a bash on people that um, that like VR. I mean, there are there are those out there that that that's their thing. Right now, at the current state of VR, in my opinion, I'm I'm not interested at all. And like I said in the previous videos that we've done on VR, is that the technology is not there enough for me to gain an interest. And I don't think it's going to be there for 200, 300 more years until we have a, a full holodeck experience. See, I concur with what you just said. It's not that, the, but here's the thing. It's not just technology, but the games. The games are the most important as aspect to it. Because like I said, if they had a steel battalion, VR, well, I mean, that's a, that would be a, like a reverse hit. That would be a start. Let's look at it in a different perspective. Let's look at it out at outside of the gaming industry. Let's say you have not been to Bali before, or Hawaii, or or California, or, 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 or whatever. That you can get an that you're gonna spend on VR. You might as well get a plane ticket. Well, now is what I'm saying. So you know, I mean, VR can be applied in different almost everything, but it's just not there yet. The technology's not there yet. No, no. I mean, if we're if you're sitting there, you're just taking a virtual tour of something. The, the the existing VR is fucking cool. But the thing is, is that I don't see, I don't see the guys, the folks who are doing Airbnb, who sit there and do timeshare and rentals, sitting there in, <laughs> investing on the infrastructure to sit there and say, hey, look, we'll give you the virtual tour of this fucking apartment that you're gonna be you're gonna be rooming in, and here are all the items, well, the furniture and appliances you can fucking steal because well, you guys. It anyways, that's you know, after you stay in there for a month, 
<laughs> it's fine and dandy, but like, for example, it can be used as, as app, uh, you know, practical applications like putting an engine together in virtual reality. You know, what, you know, it actually gives you how to do things, how to build things. So, but I mean, doing surgery. Yeah. And other things like that. Yeah. We, yeah. Until somebody walks in the room and yells Xbox off. <laughs> or turns the PlayStation off. Yeah. Or, or, or if someone just comes in and just press the button on your controller and you don't fucking realize it because you can't fucking see it. you got that helmet you but, got that robocop helmet on your shit yeah we've we've gone off and left field on this no we but, haven't that shit could happen that's a part of the subject here so yeah VR. you know I, I would like to know those people out there if yeah if you do have the vr of, of any sort tell us your experience with it and i, I really want to i want to know positive experience with this thing or, or any of the vrs if there is any yeah okay and i think that's a good place to go ahead and wrap this particular video up um like we said just uh, just a few seconds ago, what are your thoughts on this? Are you surprised at the state of VR when it comes to the gaming industry, especially considering that is woefully underperforming for what um, the folks in charge of the gaming industry would want it to be? Uh, is this really the biggest loser of the holiday season? You know, that's something that we all got to think about. Uh, while you're at it, hit that subscribe button. You know, hit, hit that like. Um, we are the middle-aged guys. We've just been bullshitting about the state of PS4 VR and actually a lot of the VR uh, things in the industry for the last 30 minutes. I am the Reverend. The theme here. Mouse one. Once again, for the benefits of common sense logic and gaming. Well, the biggest loser, loser of the holiday season? No, that would be the NES Mini if they don't fucking come out with more of them. Better come out with more of those so we can get them. ASA fucking people for Christmas. Credits.